Another influence very early on was that our neighbor was a very famous Russian dancer named Adolf Baum. And Adolf Baum had partnered Anna Pavlova in the original DIF Ballet Russe. And he ended up living in Hollywood. And he saw me running around, it was in the hills and up and down the stairs. And I was a very skinny, long-legged little girl. And he said to my mother, you get her to a dance studio. And so I was signed up to take dance. I loved it. I, I was really happy taking dance and uh, studied in Hollywood with a woman named Lee Lazali. She was a very good ballet teacher. She was almost everybody's double in films that required dance. And uh, I believe she was Claire Bloom's double in Charlie Chaplin's Limelight. So Leela was my really first serious ballet teacher. So I had good roots in, in Southern California in, in Hollywood and then went at about age 10, 11, moved up to Santa Barbara, California where I studied with a woman named Maria Kedrina and Madame Kedrina was quite wonderful. She had been in Nijinsky's very short-lived company when he got mad at Diaghilev. And then she fled uh, Russia at a certain point and ended up in Santa Barbara. And Mike, if you bring the costume with the jewels. Madame Kadrina did story ballets. She didn't do recitals where you lined up a class at a time. And I was aided and abetted by my mother who made this for me when I was dancing in her version of Sadko and learning, this is a Russian style seraphon, and my mother spent months sewing the beads on, and then she made me sew all the pearls on, going around the edge. I, this was for me when I was 14. I had somebody who taught me, several people who taught me early on the value of gorgeous costumes and the work that it takes to have them, and uh, also the value of story ballets, because uh, that is what we do here when we do recitals.